I'm getting ready to go to Amsterdam for the Amsterdam Excel Summit that starts Tuesday of next week. But I just stumbled across something that I would be a miserable wretch if I did not stop everything and show this to you. It's going to be quick. We got this list of people and their birthdays. And we want to know how many days until their next birthday. And this is really messy in native Excel. Check out the formula that we have to use in order to extract this. We are going to throw this formula into the garbage right now. This is how we're going to do this and we're going into Power Query. All right, we've got all these dates. We're at the data tab from table slash range. First thing, we want dates. Okay, convert this so that we don't have those times in there anymore. Replace current, yep. Now watch this, this is really smooth. I'm gonna add a column from example, from selection. I'm gonna go 08 July 26 June. It's guessing what I want. Let's look at Raquel. 10 September 72. It's got 10 sep. That's great. I'm going to click OK. Now, watch this. Turn this into a date. Everybody's date has been put into 2018, but we want to know future birthdays, not just 2018. So somebody who's January of 2018 we really want to know how many days until that birthday in 2019. So I'm going to add a column to get today. Okay. Add custom column. And I'm going to call this today equals date time dot date open parentheses date time dot local now. Okay, that's today. Now I need a difference. Custom column, we call it diff. I want custom minus today. Okay, and this should be a whole number. Now we can see the negative numbers really mean people whose birthday has already passed for this year. So we got to fix this. How are we going to fix it? I'm going to add a custom column. Call it next birthday equals if is less than zero, then date dot add years open parentheses, custom, comma, one, close parentheses, else, this year. Okay, wonderful. This column tells us when is their next birthday. Okay, so let's get rid of some of this stuff. I don't need this birth date anymore. Remove, don't need this anymore. Now let's add one more column. Custom column, next birthday minus today. Okay. Make it a whole number. Woo, check that out. We don't need today anymore. Remove that. Remove this column. And I'm gonna sort this smallest to largest. Good Lord. Okay. Close and load this and put it alongside one we have already. Existing worksheet. Put it over here. Okay. Now I got to put this back as a date. All right. We got everybody's upcoming birthday and the number of days until that birthday. And now I gotta get back to preparing for Amsterdam. And I'll see you in the next video.